Okay. Little Miss Hotshot, why don't you take over this oh, situation? Oh, no. You came. Oh, no. You want me to talk oh, to God. girls? I don't know anything about girls. <sighs> Girls have coot. No, actually, that's boys. Boys have cooties. So what are we doing, son? Um. 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 Me too. Hey. I. What I happened to your X meta? Hmm. Whatever this afternoon was. Listen, Chloe. The X meta is only if I it's actually to gonna you work. Something, but I don't know how to talk about this. X. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree? It's her dad! Woman? Shut up. The ones who were making out? Ha! That was my I dad. called it! I oh. knew it! I'm a fucking detective right. genius. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a oh, while. Oh shit. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought oh, I, thought I could shit. catch him or something. So she didn't want to just hang out with us, she was trying to catch her dad. So? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Rachel. You see, here's the thing with this, son. I, I was gonna say everything. I was I gonna go down to the say. exact same route. Neither like, do I. Me too. Chloe, I love my dad. And all that other stuff. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him I wanted to scream and the other half I forgot forgot that anything had changed oh man it's silly but I've carried this photo around with me for years it's from Mount Hood my dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his mm -hmm. coat, and how calm he was, and the sound of his voice, and... Comfort her. Shit. 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 I knew no. it. I knew it. I was gonna say just so last strong, time we tried you know, this. I... She But she's not angry sick. anymore. So I thought I thought that would go well. I don't you girls fucked are up. You fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> I didn't fuck up as bad as you. That that cutscene was gonna happen either way. Probably. So what you are we doing? You trusted him. Yep. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Yeah. Um. Ooh. I owe you one too. Yeah, I was thinking that. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. Oh! And I treated you like shit. She said, feel it too. Courage? Ha! Ah! I don't know if I'd call it that. No! Or like blind desperation. Run! And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know I'm lucky that you were with me today. 
you're a badass, Chloe Price. I mean, what? Shucks. Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past. How do you him. know that? Uh, you saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two mm. against one. But you wouldn't take any. I mean, I ran. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. Oh no! And what about Ooh, Drew? Sh when he was picking on Nathan? I thought I was getting really intense there for a second. Right I thought mistakes were going to be made. And called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. I'm one Plus, of the kind. you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... <laughs> do we go badass with fuck him? Or do we go sympathetic? Oh, man. Oh, man. What are you thinking? Because I know what I think. I don't about. know. I don't know if I should comfort her or if I should be like, yo, fuck him. Uh, I'm kind of iffy on both. Oh, son. Johnny, you gotta make this one. You know, I'll be honest. I am leaning heavy on the B button right now, like insanely. All right, let's do it. Let's I'm scared, do it. Though. I'm scared. Ah! Fuck do dad. it, Johnny. Fuck your dad. Fuck him. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Yeah. Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags. I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Oh, oh no! No! This is getting intense. Can I borrow your lighter? But as in, like... Romantically somewhat intense. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're safe. Right, Johnny? Nothing's going to happen. Burn, baby, burn. Disco burn out. This is romantic. bad metaphors yeah yeah that that wasn't going too well but you know what i mean totally not hi frank
He looks weird we wearing a beanie. Good job, Rachel. Look at that. She did that shit. She look familiar. Uh! What? That was gay. It's gonna be okay, Johnny. Oh, the hype. The hype is real on this one. I like it. It, it is. We I did know. it. Yeah, we did we it. We made it through. Yeah. We gonna wow. look. We gonna look at stats. Oh fuck! I accidentally hit the B button Shit. again. No one it's okay. steals from me. I want my fucking money. Oh fuck. Okay, so I'm at the stats page. Oh shit. Oh no. Okay, so I'm at the stats, so I'm just gonna, gonna say them, uh -huh. just so we have them on file. So the first decision was with the douchebag at the concert. 62% attacked, we the 38% ran. Okay. Um, next is talking with Joyce, 38% of people were mean to Joyce, and 62% were kind. So when we were having that argument about Frank, David... Billy Bob. Yep. Um, the next is the fight between Nathan and the jock. 89% mm -hmm. of us defended Nathan and 11% stayed out of the fight. Okay. And the last one is our Rachel decision. So 69% of us, hehehe, <laughs> 69, told Rachel you are more than just friends and 31% told Rachel you are just friends. Wow. So what would you have done in that situation? I mean, the Rachel thing, I would have said just friends. Why? Because you literally spent one day with her. Yeah, like, but that one day is just the best day, as she said, of her life. I mean, yes, but like, still, I don't. One day, and you're saying that you that you're interested in me, like it, it just seems too short. Like maybe you got short. like you don't know her, you know? I I just I feel like if you're developing feelings for a person, whether it's a crush or love or whatnot, or even just affection or admiration, it take more than just one day. At least for like a romantic feeling, I'm I think personally. So, I don't know. I think it's a little too fast to say like, hey, I want to be more than just friends, you know, after one day. It just seems very rushed to me. But that something more could just mean best friends or it could just mean romantically. I mean, I'm pretty sure that both Chloe and Rachel took that in a romantic interest way way because she was like whoa chloe like back up for a moment like if she want to be best friends she would have said let's be best friends like you know and rachel would have said oh you know it took so much courage to say that because like 
be like best friends, it wouldn't be such a huge deal as saying like, listen, I have some some for you and I hope you have some some for me. watching hope you enjoyed and we'll see you when episode 2 comes out it may be short see you later not so short but yeah we will see you in the next video later shakabra shakabra out <laughs>